MLS side Minnesota United have invited Irish top flight side St Patrick's Athletic to Minneapolis for a game of football. In a suburb of Dublin, Inchicore, is a League of Ireland football team called St Patrick's Athletic. St Pat's were founded in 1929 and have played in the top division of Irish football for 73 years straight with no relegations. This ground, it's a real old school traditional football ground. It's so cool, isn't it? It's brilliant, yeah. We've been here quite a long time. Our players love playing here and opposition fans or opposition players don't like it at all. This is the away end where the Shelburne supporters will be. There's a lot of noise and there's a great atmosphere with our fans, I have to say. The club's motto is no strength without unity. This ground is magnificent and although St Patrick's Athletic were founded in 1929, football has been played here since the 1800s. The area in which Richmond Park now stands was formerly used as a recreational area by the British Army. like a home welcoming, literally. Whereabouts in the USA are you from? Uh, Philadelphia. Opinions on the ground? The ground's very different. So I'm used to MLS style stadium, um, stuff that's a little bit more, I guess, modern. Through that window and then the stadium's right out there. There's the pitch. Yeah. People getting their burgers. The chance going back and forth. Um, the atmosphere has been amazing. for these seats. I'm gonna get out now, it's lost its novelty. <laughs> Ten years ago, if you ask any kid walking down the street what team they support, initially it's Liverpool, Manchester United, Chelsea. Now they're starting to say it's St Pat's, it's Shamrock Rovers, it's Dundalk. People have realised that local football is not boring, it's, it's a bit more exciting. If you're involved in a club in, in a 3,000, 4,000 capacity stadium, you're going to know a lot of people. So it's, it's a good social event. My family has a long history with the club as well and I know how much it means to, to everybody in the community. Yeah, I went to quite a few games as a kid, and it was great. We grew up in uh, in Ireland watching watching the Premier League, but it was good to um, to get down to the local teams. And in terms of passion and excitement at the games and atmosphere, it's, it's excellent. That's that's the most important thing in football for me is, is obviously fans of the community. A lot of them are like working class people who just love a game of football and um, are very passionate about the game. Yeah. <laughs>
Minneapolis St. Paul is an area in the US state of Minnesota. Minnesota is the second northernmost US state after Alaska. It shares a 547 mile long border with Canada. More importantly, the pop-up toaster was invented here. And although the people of Minneapolis are as warm as a fresh piece of toast, the weather is not. Minneapolis St. Paul boasts a number of spectacular sporting arenas, including the $200 million Allianz Field, a soccer specific stadium opened in 2019, the home of Minnesota United. When were you told you were being invited by Minnesota United to America? It was a bit of a, a mad one. I was in uh, my, my family home, and my mum said, uh, St. Pat's had gone to America. When I found out, I was really excited. The facilities in America are like Premier League level, probably even more. The stadiums that we've been to are crazy. The fans are a little bit different at home, it's a lot more hostile. Here it's a little bit more welcoming. I think the first game we played, we got clapped onto the pitch by the opposition team. So it was a little, it was, it was a little bit taken back by that. Not a lot of us would have played internationally. We've only really ever played in Ireland. From playing in the league, I know that there's a lot of excellent players here. I think it'll be something that we've never played against before. This is an outrageously good venue for football. Football clubs across the world would only dream of being able to play matches in these facilities. These guys don't have a drum. They've got about 12. I can hear the drums. They've got a whole band. It's fascinating because the whole stand is just stood there watching the game and there's about eight Dave Grohl's just in the middle. Clothes shop there. I could go and buy a shirt if I wanted to. Actually, I might. I might just do that. No, actually, I might just not. Minnesota will create events, mm -hmm. and no matter who goes to the games, whether they're young, old, female, male, they're going to have a good time. No matter if the team wins or loses, and it's an a social event. We're a very, very small country, but what we are, we're a very proud country. We also know that we have to be very respectful to the opponent. Networking is the best form of, of anything and creating friendships and, and, uh, and trusting people and, and giving opportunity is what we want to be able to try and do. We want the American people to kind of say, OK, if I have a team in Europe, rather than being a, a Milan or a Barcelona, that we can say, well, we have made connections with a small club in Ireland called St. Pat's. United have won the match 1-0. The MLS side are victorious. It's a victory for America. I've got a second. I know this. I'm popping down, I'm popping down, I'm popping down. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now you should have somehow realized what you got to do. What's going on? Leave the I didn't expect that this would this would be the series of events. I want to join in. I 
and after all, you're my wonder wall. What have I just been a part of?